How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing a Walbro 255 in the Frankenstein Civic. So let's roll that intro and get into it. So I've had to take a bit of a break from Frankenstein over the past week. Uh, I've just been really busy having to do maintenance on the Forerunner. And the fit. And also uh, we've been helping out at the racetrack. So it's time to get back to work. Um, I'm taking a bit of a break from working on the engine bay. This is kind of where I'm at right now. Um, basically exactly like you saw it last time, but uh, still working on getting the uh, seam sealer removed and I've almost got it done. I found some rust in there that I got to fix. Um, I also want to strip all the rubberized coating out of the wheel wells so I can repair everything properly. I still got to do some work on the firewall yet and plug up all these holes. So I'm going to get to that yet, but uh, I got the Walbro in the mail today. I'm pretty excited about it, so I want to install it today. So this is something I've uh, had on my list for a long time now. And uh, finally pulled the trigger, got it ordered. I also have fuel injectors on the way. So we're slowly getting everything together. There's just a few more big things that I need for uh, this build and we'll be rolling. So um, yeah. Taking a break from the engine bay, gonna get this installed today. To be honest with you guys, I've actually never installed a fuel pump before, so uh, this will be a bit of a learning experience for me, but I'm excited to get it done. So we're in the back of Frankenstein now. It is quite dirty, don't mind the mess. First step is going to be to remove this cover to gain access to the top of the fuel tank, and uh, then we can remove the fuel pump. So let's get started with that.
Okay, so now that we got the cover off, we have access to the top. And before I unbolt this, oh, it looks like we're missing a nut already. That's awesome. I've never had this open before, so let's see what we're dealing with here. Let's see if this connector even comes off. That is so dirty. There we go. Yes, I will disconnect these fuel lines and then I will take all these nuts out and it should pull out. So I'll get to that next. All right, so I got the first line off. It was pretty simple. It's just a hose clamp and then you pull the hose off. It was kind of crusty. So it took a bit of doing, but uh, it came off of there. This next one is a little bit different. So from what I can see here, I think I need to use one of these fuel line removal tools. Basically this opens up and you slip it over the hard line in this direction and then this slips underneath the clip here. I don't know what the technical term is, but uh, basically it slips underneath and it'll push the line off. So uh, I've hardly ever had to use these in my life. I think I used them on uh, a Jeep Cherokee fuel rail or something like that. I, I don't remember, it was a long time ago, but uh, I had these sitting in the toolbox so I finally get to use them. So give it a shot, see if it works. All right, so I don't know how well this is gonna show up on here, but basically you wanna slip this tool underneath the clip there. And what it does is it pushes on this tab from the inside, and then that allows it to slip up and over. So now if I pull on it, you can see it's wiggling loose now. And it comes right off. Normally when you're doing this, you would want to relieve fuel pressure before doing anything. I didn't have to do that because I've already drained all the fuel out of this thing. The engine is out, all the fuel pressure is gone. But anyway, we're to the step now where uh, I can remove these nuts. Hopefully they're not rusted too bad. They look pretty crusty. So uh, fingers crossed we can get this off of here. Okay, so I drained most of the fuel apparently. All right, so here's a look at everything I got in the kit. So obviously we got the fuel pump here, comes with a new hose, two hose clamps. Uh, I believe this is just a, like a retainer washer and a new fuel sock. So the all brand new parts in there. This one obviously has seen uh, a lot of fuel in its day. So uh, it's time to retire that one. The kit that I got said it was a Honda Acura kit. So this should all just bolt up. So we're gonna get this taken apart and uh, hopefully it fits right up in there. All right guys, so I took this little retainer washer off of the bottom of the sock here. Now it will slide off. And now that should allow this to come loose. So I'll need to reuse this piece because the kit did not come with a new one. Now the next trick is going to be getting this plug out of here and then we've got to remove the hose and then we'll use the new hose in place of this one. So uh, I'm going to work at that and see where we get. Okay, so I got one of the hose clamps loose and I was having a bit of a hard time with this clip here. But uh, from what I understand, you need to remove this blue clip first. So I think just by pushing down on these tabs, it should come out. Yep. And that's kind of like a locking clip so that this can't be pressed down. So now I should just be able to press down on this. Yeah, now it comes right out. Much better, because I was having a bit of a hard time with that. So figured that out. Now this might actually just pop off of here. There, that is the factory fuel pump. That is going away and we'll be replacing it with this one. All right guys, so this piece of hose is obviously a bit too long. It's probably just a universal piece of hose. So when I just kind of hold the fuel pump up to it, I'm gonna need to trim the hose till about this point here so that it goes all the way down the full length of the nozzle. So we'll probably just trim it off here and then it should slip on there. We'll tighten up the hose clamps and that is that part of it done. All right, so I got the pump on there, got the hose clamps in place. This one I haven't tightened yet uh, because I may need to raise it or lower it depending on where it lines up down here. 
but now I'm having trouble getting this wiring connector in here. So I would recommend plugging this in before doing the hose, but uh, I should still be able to make this work. I just need to disconnect this ground here and that'll give me just a little bit more length so that I can get this plug turned around and get it plugged in. So I'm just gonna remove this ground, plug it in, and then attach the ground again, and we should be good. Well, let's just say, guys, I made a mistake by taking the ground screw out because in removing it, it actually stripped the threads, so there was no getting it tight again. So I ended up replacing it with another screw with a nut on the back of it. Hopefully that holds, uh, it's pretty tight. Um, I guess if I have uh, issues with this thing not working, it could potentially be the ground, but hopefully that works for me. So now I need to add this rubber retainer to it, then the sock goes in place, and then this retainer washer uh, will hold the sock on. So we're getting pretty close to the end here. Once everything's in place, I will tighten up this one last hose clamp, and then uh, that's it. All right guys, and this is what the finished product's gonna look like. So the sock is now pressed into place, and then I pressed the retaining washer onto that plastic clip in there. Basically, I placed it tightly over it, and then I grabbed a small socket and used that to push it on the rest of the way. Actually worked really good. So that is all done. Hose clamps are all tight. Everything's wired up, so now we can put this back in the car. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to clean up the top of this a little bit, but I don't all of a sudden want to start cleaning it up with a wire brush or something, and then all that dust and uh, debris gets inside here, which will eventually make its way into the fuel tank. Then I have dirt and debris inside the fuel tank. So I'm just going to play it safe and leave it the way it is. Chances are I will be going fuel cell someday, so then I can get rid of this altogether. So anyway, let's get this back in the car and then uh, hook everything back up. All right guys, well, fuel pump is in and uh, that was actually pretty easy. I was done in about an hour and uh, considering it was my first time, I don't think I did too bad a job. Everything went back together nicely, so uh, no problems there. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's about all the time I have for today. I uh, didn't do a whole lot, but uh, it's a step that definitely needed to get done. And uh, I'm so stoked that uh, I got a fuel pump now. So that's about where I'm gonna wrap up the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, definitely hit that thumbs up uh, if you're stoked about this. I know I am. Uh, we're making pretty big steps here and uh, I got a few more things I got to order for the build and then we'll be ready to put everything back together. So uh, drop me a comment below guys. Let me know what you think. If I did anything wrong or uh, if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, definitely subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time.